Oh, yeah, people. <sighs> Rescue and restore. Back at you. And look what I have accomplished, people. Look at that. Wow. Listen to that. <laughs> running. We did it. Finally got it done. After eight years, the wiring is an absolute disaster. So once we get all that wiring harness all organized and properly set up, go through all the wiring, cut out what we don't need, It'll be great. So I'll show you what I have so far accomplished. So this right here, the top of the starter relay. As you can see, that one goes directly to the battery. The orange one, as you can see, goes down into this wiring harness through here and then I do believe that is it right there so we got that all wired up then this this one here this right there is for your neutral safety switch okay people so my neutral safety switch is wiped out no longer work and I live in the middle of freaking nowhere so to try to get these parts will be a little bit. So all I have done is put it up here into a ground. Now, please be careful, people. Once you do that, it will start in gear. So please pay attention to that. Don't need anybody hurt. Then the other wire, this green one that is sitting there, this one goes down and into your starter okay and then which one is that I do believe it is this pink one right here so the one that's on the top left hand side if you're looking at it that goes directly into your ballast resistor so that is your wiring for that piece that's your starter relay once you've accomplished that i went from tick 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 to it's starting so that was big and then so i didn't have spark i couldn't get it to run so then i rewired the brain box now these top two wires right here and here go into this wire that goes to your distributor okay so make sure because it's got two different ends on it just make sure you take the right end to the right place on your brain box or it won't work <clears throat> this other one this blue and yellow well blue with yellow stripe wire this one goes into the ballast resistor also okay and then your ballast resistor is pretty much wired well kind of i mean i could get it yesterday last night we got it to initially turn over and then it would start and then as soon as you let go of the key into the run position it would instantly die and so i was like because as you can see this one here oh i should finish my so this one on the top of your ballast resistor that goes on to the positive of your coil positive of your coil this black wire black wire with the yellow stripe that goes into the negative side of your coil okay so recap out of the brain box black wire with yellow stripe negative side of your coil blue wire 
with the yellow stripe goes into your ballast resistor. As you can see, this is a four prong or a five prong. This wire goes nowhere. Don't worry about it. These two wires, make sure you put the right ones in, go to your distributor. So, your ballast resistor wire for this year truck. Now, I did the research and it said you can get this from the start of 78 to 90. Some have the four prong ballast resistors. Apparently, this truck came with a four prong ballast resistor. But it's no longer there. So, recap. I got the one wire from the starter relay. Goes into the bottom side of the starter or of the ballast resistor. The one blue with yellow line goes into the ballast resistor. On the opposite end, goes from the ballast resistor into the positive of your coil. Now... Once you've got that done, <clears throat> that's what was happening, is it would turn over, start, second you let go of the key, it would stall. Oh my God, there is no information on this. Okay, so I was thumbing around and I grabbed this one wire. I'm going to try to show you so you guys can take a picture. So it's this wire right here. Count on your own wiring harness. So it's the bottom row, second one in. So there's a green one and then a red one. That red one comes up into here. And I wired that one into the bottom side of the resistor. Because I believe that is a steady turn, you know, on the run position to feed it power. The second I did that, people, it fired up. Now, I also did a lot <clears throat> of extra stuff, okay, guys? And I recommend doing it. As you can see, I have ran and cleaned up all the area for the paint, getting rid of all of that. And I've run aground from the brain box underneath the fender which is right here in direct feed into the negative I also as you can tell from the last videos I have taken this and cut three inches out of it back to the negative for the negative post on the battery there's the battery ground I followed along here I took everything apart, I sanded it, I cleaned it, I degreased it, as you can see, it actually looks clean all around it. So I wanted to make sure that I took care of the negative on the block. Also, I took this wire here, and I ran this all the way up, and grounded it right here. Because all the forums ever say is, oh, make sure you got good ground, make sure you got good ground, yada, yada, yada. So, that's what I did. So, that is a positive. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through all of this wiring, cleaning it all up, fixing all my connectors, putting the proper connectors on all this stuff so that corrosion and all that other stuff doesn't freaking happen but i want to weed out all through of this freaking wiring harness to start cleaning it up so that it just doesn't look like such a mess because i know these i guess went to some kind of spark fuel thing i don't know what they're called but I am going to go through it. I'm going to cut all the wiring out. I'm going to go through, fix this kind of wiring on it because I do not want it to rehappen. And I think that would really, really help this thing out is to clean up all this wiring to make it look presentable and less grief for the next guy or me later down the road. 
So I gotta go through all of this. All these connectors, everything. I gotta re-put on right here as you can see. These are my turn signals on this side. And on that side I have some. I gotta redo those. I gotta figure out the alternator, make sure I have that freaking top notch. And then it's gonna be slow things. I gotta take this, get a new hose. Um, I gotta put, I'm gonna put new oil in it now that I got it running. Probably new spark plugs. Um, make sure everything is good. If I need to pull apart the carburetor, it smells like it's running a little rich right now. So I really wanna properly go through this because I want a reliable and steady runner. But the fact is, we got it running. So, let's go and keep going with this. Cleaning it up. Making it look better. And then, you know, the sky's the limit. Because eventually, if everything goes right, I'm going to put that bad boy in it. Right there. I got the heads in the shop. So... This is end game goal. As you can see, it is a 440. It's from a motorhome. And then over here, there is the 727 transmission. So I rebuild that bad boy, which I'm going to do because my dad can get uh, um, a good kit to rebuild that for about 250 300 bucks so i'm going to rebuild that with the help of my dad that i have taken apart the heads cleaned the heads got them all organized so all i got to do now is what do i got left on that oil pump timing chain uh i'm going to put a new water pump in it hmm I think that, oh, I need, uh, crap, what is that? Oh, sweet Mary and Joseph. Um, oh, yeah, I need a cam and lifters. And then that is pretty much going to be ready to go. So I need a 440 in that machine. Forget about it. It'll be freaking, it'll be a rod. It'll be a hot rod. Let's be real. So that is going to be the goal. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this video or, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to get my wife to put this video up or if I'm going to wait, bring you back. Once I've cleaned up all my connections, I got everything I need to make everything proper. I got all the wire connectors. I got the heat shrink. I got the soldering gun and iron for something to just clean that up properly and make it really, really good. And then once we get this all done, then we can go from there, start doing a little bit more organizing, cleaning out the box. It's in pretty dang good shape, people. So it'll be nice to have that all organized. And then really start messing around. There is quite a bit of rot in the driver's side floor. Because you can see right there. It's the it sat for a great many years with that vent open. My fault. My bad. I am going to try to fix it. Trust me. But other than that, people, it is going extremely well. So... I got to get some tint for it. I need some tint. I really want some tint. Oh, look at that. Here's the doggy. Hello, Domino. 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 Hello. Hello, Goomba. Hello, Goomba. Yes, good doggy. My son's dog. So, that's where we're at. And then once I get it running right... Doing a little bit of driving, making sure I get some of the bugs out. If I need anything extra, I'll start picking that stuff up. And then I want to use this thing to start cleaning up the yard. All this has got to go to the dump. And I 
want to just take that lumber over to, back to my son's. Then I want to start working on that 440 and transmission and just cleaning up the yard, making it look good and having a good reliable truck because, oh man, I want one and I needs it. I needs it. So that's going to be the goal now. Went and picked up some decent wire cutters. So I'm going to go through this bad boy, start cleaning up some wires and getting it so that it'll run and drive and be reliable and not leak oil because this thing sprayed oil all over the motor and it's just a mess so i want to clean this up degunk this whole thing get it organized get it cleaned up get it pretty and then start really going through it and seeing what i need i know i need doors in a big way um just minor stuff like that some cosmetics start making it look good people i really want to make it look sharp and then getting fairly soon to go pick up my next project and i still got to get that going that's gonna be fun that's gonna be an amazing deal because i oh i got lots of plans on that i'll get back to you on that one and then I'll let you know my goals because I really want to cut my teeth on that thing right there. Because 62 Impala, yeah, was that? that's sexy. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to let you go, guys. I am going to start cleaning up my mess and organize this, make it look freaking pretty and just good and reliable. Oh, I need a tie strap too. Dang. I need spark plug wires, I need oil, yes, I need to make sure that alternator is working, get all that going, but it's, we got it, man, like, share this with your friends, people, and if it helps out 10 people, I'll be happy, because I know what I've gone through to try to get this wiring and i am no good at this so if somebody else can use this to help them out that would i would love that i would love that just to allow this to help somebody else and i prayed a lot and thank god that this happened because I'm a shit. so i'm the, i am very happy and ecstatic that it ran and we got it going. Now it's just a question of making it reliable. Bring out some more videos. Show the fact that I've cleaned up all the wiring and everything looks better and neat and tidy. And uh, I think it'll be great. And then we'll bring out some more videos. I'm just new at this. I'm going to probably put out a video of all the YouTubers that are my heroes that I watch, that I enjoy. And uh, we'll see if we can get some traction with this and see what we can do. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope this helps. Apply this to other dodges, whatever you can. Hopefully this helps you go through that. And then we'll bring you back at a later date and show the progress of what's going on and just having a completely different truck. Well, you know, same truck, just a lot better. Would be a big positive. And clean. Clean would be good. Yes. So, thank you for watching. God bless. And be safe. And, uh, phone a family member. Tell them you love them and you miss them. And, uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.